Libra. Hey, I am so hype. So, um, <laughs> my daughter plays sports for her school and, uh, I don't want to get into the specifics because I like to keep her life as private as possible, but I got to be a line judge today with my little flag. So Libra judge, you know, judge energy. Anyways, I'm just, I'm hype. Um, I played sports growing up and it just gets me so hype. So anyways, Libra, wow, three of pentacles and I just cut to the four of pentacles. So message, the word on the street is your peers and some that have tried to hurt you or come against you see that you remain untouched. <laughs> All in the first minute of your word on the streets. Hmm. Because look, this is a voodoo doll or a poppet, right? It has no pins or needles stuck into it. You remain untouched. I just heard unbothered at 111. Mm hmm. Yes. All right. Libra. Let's go. I don't know what it is about the 13th. I don't know what it is about number 13. Um, <laughs> I got my old Instagram back today. September 13th. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. It's just. Oh. I'm so happy. You guys don't understand. I had that Instagram since like 2015 and it took me a whole year to get it back. So anyways, I have two Instagrams now. <laughs> Astral.ash and about.ashley with two Y's. And that's it. Any other ones are, are uh, scammers. So anyways, ha ha ha, I beat you hackers. <laughs> I beat you. I win, you lose. What's the word on the street about Libra? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. Really? Two, two, two on the clock. The devil card. Hmm. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, the king of wands. Wanting to make a divine femme Libran their willing victim. This person is an energy vampire, okay? Most definitely this king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this can just simply be a very attractive, um, fiery, go-getter, masculine energy, okay? doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. Capricorn here with the devil card. They thought they were going to be able to, um, like chain you up. You know what I mean? Like put you in those chains. This person could wear cufflinks. This King of Wands, I, he has a suit on, but I, I just heard in my mind cufflinks. Hmm. This masculine. Maybe he has like his initials engraved in his cufflinks. Word on the street about Libra. getting all this new dough. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hype, Libra. The Ace of Pentacles. It's a good day. It's a good, good day. Okay. Oh, wealth is growing nicely on you. They can't stop it even if they wanted to. They can't stop it even if they wanted to, Libra. Give this reading a big thumbs up. Comment down below. They couldn't stop it even if they wanted to, even if they tried. Let's go. Ooh. King of Wands in reverse now at the bottom of the deck. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This King of Wands is so mad that you're getting to your bag, Libra. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, King of Wands. I think you should move on. They want you to worry. I just saw the Seven of Pentacles. They want you to, you know, worry about your finances. The Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is always a card of leadership. You're not afraid of being a leader. You've seen some things, though. You've seen some things, though. I'm hearing... You wouldn't know the things my eyes have seen. Because I've never told a soul. You're a leader who is to be respected, okay? Bottom of the deck. The Eight of Swords. With that full moon in the background. But see, to me, she's escaping bondage. The three of wands with the eight of swords, you have escaped, okay? The people that have tried to set you up. That's the word on the street. Mm. What the crap is going on here? He's like relentless. This king of wands is relentless. Wow. With the hanged one at the bottom. What's bizarre is maybe, maybe this king of wands knows that you know about their skeletons in the closet. And they're afraid, just like I said, your eyes have seen some things you would never tell. There's a king of wands that is afraid of the things you're aware of, okay? It's like you can see through the dark. You see how this skeleton, the skeleton's in his closet, Libra. Let me just tell you right now, me personally, I don't care. I'm not, as long as you're, you just leave me alone, I'm not telling your secrets, okay? So, King of Wands, if this is resonating for me, I do have two exes um, that are fire signs. I think it's time for you to focus on the business that pays you instead of focusing and worrying so hard about Libra telling, making you come out of the closet or tell your secrets. Libra doesn't care. Libra has escaped bondage and is getting to the bag. Libra is a proven leader. We also don't tell everything we've seen. Like, unless it's you're, you've hurt someone or you're planning on hurting someone or whatever, then yeah, snitch away. But this King of Wands is pressed. Pressed. Four and four. Maybe this person um, could be Life Path 44, Master Number 44 here. Um, they definitely are trying to send you nightmares with this Four of Swords because you see the monster under the bed trying to like creep up on her sleeping. They're definitely trying to reach you in the astral because they can no longer reach you in the physical. Also with this four of cups at the bottom, look how, you know how we just saw the skeleton with the hanged one card? Look, this cup behind the chair is being offered, but it's coming from a skeleton. This person is dead inside. Okay? 
whoever is offering something to you, and she is uninterested. She is completely body language turned away from that toxic cup. Ten ten on the clock. This person could have tried to even poison you at one point in time, or that was their plan. I just heard poison your mind, okay? If this isn't physical drink or food poisoning, I heard poison your mind. Because for some of these King of Wands energies, they knew who you were before you did, Libra. The Ace of Swords, and that's the absolute truth. I cannot show you the imagery in this Ace of Swords card. You're just going to have to believe me. Um, this person could be getting really desperate, though. Really desperate. They could be on the verge, is what I'm hearing. 11-11 on the clock. With the Three of Cups at the bottom. They thought they would be celebrating your drowning, your downfall. Do you see these people in the background with their cups cheering and she's just like submerged in the pool? I guess they didn't know you could swim. Like really good. Hold your breath really long. Like me. I was taught by a, I guess you call them retired, a, a marine vet. That's what they're called, veterans. I was taught by a marine veteran growing up for a few summers how to swim. And I picked up the death card, but I picked it up in reverse. They messed with the wrong one. They messed with the wrong one. They tried to send this death magic, dark magic your way. But you've just got options. But again, the Seven of Cups here at the bottom does speak of options, but it also speaks of dreams, okay? Again, they've definitely been trying to affect your dream state. That's enough of the tarot. Now, let's use the Halloween Oracle to get some confirmation here. What's the word on the street about Libra? Three shuffles. Shuffle them good. <laughs> What's the word on the street about Libra, please? <clears throat> They're trying to find a blind spot. They're trying to locate your blind spot. We have Skull of Darkness blind spots at the bottom. I heard maybe catch you off guard. What's the word on the street about Libra? We got two cards. Wow. Okay. The death card again. We literally just got the death card out of the tarot, and now we have it here. And it came out with ghost. Regret. They regret, if this is an ex, they regret how it ended between you two, and you haunt their lives like a ghost, Libra. The memory of you is haunting them. Third message here with both of these cards. You have people in spirit who do not play when it comes to you, Libra. Big facts. You got a whole spirit squad. Squadron. Soldiers. Spirit team. 
that does not play when it comes to you fighting off these witches and warlocks. This king of wands could be a warlock. They could be, you know, trying to work with a little coven to affect Libra. Or some people could say you're witchy with the witch at the bottom in that you can talk to the dead as well. I get multiple messages. Yep. Graveyard with protection. Oh my gosh. Spirit come through. Look at that. Graveyard and protection. <laughs> what did I just say? People that have crossed over are not playing when it comes to you, Libra. You are so protected and so eternally loved from beyond the grave. That's amazing. That's amazing confirmation. Bottom of the deck again. Remembrance. The lamp. I have chills right now. <laughs> These people that have crossed over 1616 on the clock. It's making me emotional. These people that have crossed over. Can never forget you. They remember the love you shared and they have your back and they're also saying you know remember me talk to me put my picture out light a candle for me okay Libra because they're protecting you eternally it's amazing spiritual confirmation all right I'm just hearing two Kipper cards. What's the word on the street about Libra? And I gotta go. What's the word on the street about Libra? All right, mature man. What's the mature man here for? Whoa, sudden wealth. Jackpot, 777. Also, 711 energy. Some type of loaded masculine. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's creeping on you, Libra. <laughs> oh, oh, I was just going to say wealthy, wealthy. I just heard wealthy and stealthy and the wealthy man came out with the privileged lady, whether you are divine masculine or divine feminine Libra, this is your energy. If you're a man, you're a wealthy man. You shall be a wealthy man. Stay focused. Keep working hard. Onward and upward, okay? If you're a divine feminine, you are a privileged lady. Or you, this is your life destiny. Your life path, okay? I heard from the hard knocks. From the hard knocks. The beginning of your life was not easy, okay? I really think I'm talking to many Librans that you dealt with abuse in the home or maybe you were in foster care. Maybe your parents abandoned you, you know, something or they were abusive. Whatever the case, your earlier life was not easy, but it was always in your destiny, to be privileged and wealthy. I'm hearing handsome and wealthy for my masculines. Okay, Libra, we got to end it there. Oh, and wow. And if you are just noticing, um, like me, number 12, privileged lady, number 13, wealthy man. Hello. Hello. All right. I got to go, Libra. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. Peace, you guys.